I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? I don't even know how to describe this film. This is a request from Joseph. Thank you so much. If people are interested in requesting pretty much anything, you just send the request either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. It could be a topic, a reaction, a review, a re-review, or what have you. This is for a film called House. It has nothing to do with the William Cat, Steve Miner directed House in the 80s. It is a film from Asia where I've heard of this film I've heard of how bash it crazy bonkers insane and it is one of the most insane movies you'll see I recommend the film on that alone it's worth at least one watch because it's definitely an experience and ingenuity and creativity I mean I don't know as a film because good luck trying to fucking explain anything that happened. <laughs> but it's worth it for the experience. It really is. Because it's it's a horror, but it's a comedy. It's very much a comedy as well. So you're not supposed to take it that seriously. It's a fever dream. You know what it is? Remember back in the day when MTV had liquid television? Imagine one of those in live action. <laughs> right? That kind of mentality that seems like anything can go... They put that with a live action film. I mean, if I tried to explain the plot, I mean, the characters, they're literally named Gorgeous, Kung Fu, Melody, Mac, Professor. They're only named because of what they do. You have this girl named Gorgeous and Her father has a stepmother. She's pissed about that. because She's still upset about her mother dying years ago. So. She invites her six friends. Professor. She is very smart. Academic. Melody. She knows. She likes music a lot. Plays the piano. Kung Fu. That explains it all. A girl who loves to eat. Mac. Mac. Sweet, who is nice and kind, and Fantasy, who always daydreams a lot. And they go to Gorgeous's aunt's place. And that's where the shit really hits the fan. I mean, you get crazy visuals. This movie is punctuated by insane visuals throughout the entire film. Uh, with some crazy color schemes and effects and matte paintings and even when they're on a train they're telling this backstory about this 
woman and a fiance heading to war and dying within the war but it's told within like these old school film reels like it's an old silent film but the girls are talking as if they're they're actually watching the flashback as a silent film and they're like reacting to it and like horrific moments they're laughing because it's like getting this weird over-the-top comedy early on early on there's a guy that falls face down the stairs and then rolls around is done with sped up, speeding up the film and then when they get to the place like they found this cute white cat I mean you have a moment where when they're around the house they hear something the lady kung fu does a kung fu kick and these two rats shoot out and lands on two of the girls you have one woman that gets a pail from the well and it's a head that's laughing at her and starts flowing around and chasing her and bites her on the ass there's a, a woman who gets attacked by mattresses and then like the camera swirling around and there's feathers all around and like they made a scene where mattresses are attacking a woman but they made it visually interesting, as crazy as that sounds. Does the cameras run around? These mattresses are falling on top and attacking her, and she like dis the fucking peers. You have the aunt who's this fucking crazy bitch. What and the white cat's with her, and the white cat's jumping on the piano, meowing to a sound, a fucking song. And the, the ant is eating a fucking hand. A woman, Melody, plays the pianos. And the psychedelic lighting. Imagine lighting mixed with lightning. Like lightning. Back in the day when they animated lightning. Imagine that on the piano. But it's like red or blue. And she's like, ah. And she gets her fingers bitten off by the piano. And the fingers still play the fucking piano by themselves. And she gets swallowed and eaten by the fucking piano. The, there's wide shots where the house grows animated style to a bigger house. There's shots where the th three of the girls turn. It's a wide shot. Imagine this wide shot where the three girls turn. And then imagine a giant face comes at them. One girl gets attacked by a fucking light fixture and eaten, but then her legs leaves the light fixture and attacks a fucking cat painting. Maybe kills it, but I guess not, because you see the cat later. And then the painting of the cat starts spewing blood. Which, again, as a film, does it work? Fuck no. Because, like, if you're even trying to explain it, like, wait a minute, did she kill this cat creature? No, because you see it later, so it didn't really do anything. So why did the ghost bleed in the first place? She's bleeding as if they won and she's dying, but then she doesn't die. Again, try to figure it out. Good fucking luck. You have women that dissolve in blood. You have... Again, if you... There's a scene where... They're, the girls are talking, they turn, and this random guy appears in the scene with them eating noodles. Then when he pulls out, he's in a completely different area, talking with some folks in a shop. And next to him is a fucking bear with clothes on. I, I don't know how to review this film because it's just insanity. I mean, as a film, the girls, they're all that Asian teen girl ready for porn in five minutes type of acting. Characters, the, the fucking names is what you give the characters. If you like Asian teen girls, well, I'm down for that, so I guess I was fine with it. <laughs> Or how old are they? They're old enough? They're over 18? Alright, then we're good. 
uh, what more? I mean, you can't really talk much else about the acting. Other than these girls are hot, Asian chicks are hot, and they're over 18. Okay, what more am I going to say about the actors? The direction, I give credit to because it seems as if, and this is 1977. This is before craziness like the Evil Dead. That's the thing. This is 1977. This, it feel, but it feels like it has that creative juices of energy that you would see in the 80s. You would see in films like Bad Taste and Meet the Feebles and Evil Dead 1 and 2 and, and so forth. Uh, but you had it in this and I, I you know what <sighs> spoiler alert starting now spoilers I didn't care for the way it ended I would have preferred a different direction because of how crazy insane and very comedic it is I would have preferred the kung fu lady living and or being the sole survivor and beating the shit out of everything. She was doing that to begin with. She was beating the shit out of this clock. Or not clock. This uh, phone. Beating the shit out of this. Uh, the ghost lady. I would have her just continue beating the shit out of people. And you think these others will be the survivors. They die. She thinks she's won. But the kung fu lady comes in. And she's still alive. And she kicks everybody's ass. And like oh my god what? And then Kung Fu Lady, I don't know, does a jump kit through the fucking house. Maybe somehow she jump fucking Kung Fu kits the entire house to rubble. She walks out. And then she walks away into the fucking sunrise. The movie ends. That I would prefer that type of ending than the ending where all the other girls die except the daydream girl. Which I guess she doesn't die because we don't see her die. I guess maybe she'll be the daughter that this ghost never had, or this lady never had. I keep calling her ghost, but witch, whatever the fuck she was, never had, who's possessed the body of gorgeous. And because we never see her die, then it ends with the stepmother of gorgeous coming by to see what's going on. They both sit across from each other. Gorgeous burns the stepmother alive then the movie's over so I didn't really care for the ending I thought for a movie that's such a silly goofy film see even he doesn't like the ending see I pissed the dog off my friend's daughter I pissed him off I explained this ending to him he's like this is fucking bullshit I speak dog and knees and and uh it's a chihuahua so chihuahua knees and in Chihuahuanese, he said, the ending's fucking bullshit. So, uh, that kind of hurt my enjoyment of the film. Because it's such a goofy, silly movie. And then to have sort of a depressing ending, to me, doesn't fit. I'm sure, I mean, it's got Criterion and people love it 10 out of 10. I enjoyed it for how insane and creative the movie is. With its direction and its, the look of the film, the effects... And they're not grandiose effects, but they're fun effects, if that makes sense. Like, you'll have, imagine people's body parts, but they're cut up as if they're paper. I don't know how to describe it, so they're not state-of-the-art effects, but they're they're cheap, but they're fun effects. I don't know how, to, yeah, I don't know how else to describe it, other than give it a watch. Even with the ending, give it a watch for the experience. Give it a watch for the visuals. Give it a watch for its ingenuity and creativity. I did, as a film, Gula trying to explain the plot. Gula trying to follow it. The characters. Gula trying to remember any ideals of the characters. Other than their names. And their names are connected to what they do. I'm glad that I finally saw it. I'm glad that I finally experienced it. It's it's a fever dream, like I said. To repeat myself from the beginning, it, a liquid television, MTV, imagine that in real life. I could see why this is considered one of the weirdest movies ever, and it's true. I'm glad that I finally saw it, so thanks to Joseph for that. And maybe that's why I wasn't as mad about the ending. I mean, I'm disappointed with the ending. I mean, because of that ending... 
I did say I would never see this film again because I probably see the film again just to witness the creativity and the ingenuity and just the batshit insanity. But oh, the ending kind of took a bit of the fun away. That's just me. But even like the way it does the credits, like the opening credits where it's house, but then the O is like a mouth and there's a and then it spits out a foot. And the end is like the house with a long ton and the credits are rolling up into the house. So again, it's a, f in a, despite the ending, it's still a fun movie for just how bonkers it is. It's one of the most bonkers films I've seen in my life. And I've seen a lot of weird shit. So, salute to that. So, with that said, I don't know what else to say. Give it a watch. It's worth the look. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Also, another thing. The music's actually pretty decent. I actually like the music. Um some of the songs and score I actually thought it fit the film rather well and was pleasantly surprised by the music in this so that's another positive I can talk about but yeah thanks for watching we'll see you guys later bye bye